Hello, my name is Andrew Mariner, an application specialist at CatPoint, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Lumion 3D. In this demonstration I'll be looking at Lumion's workflow from start to finish. Lumion is a powerful 3D visualization tool that allows you to take 3D models from programs such as SketchUp, Revit, 3ds Max, and many more. To start work in Lumion, simply click the Add Model button, select a file, and then import it. The file I'm using today is a Tesco shop that was modelled in SketchUp. Once the model has been imported, it can be positioned with simple drag and drop tools. As you can see here, the import also brings all the textures from the original program. Once inside of Lumion, the model is separated by material name, and each of these materials can be selected individually to be overridden with one of the 590 high quality materials inside of Lumion. These include materials such as glass, woods, bricks, tiles and metals. Lumion also has specialist materials that allows the user to select surfaces and convert these into things such as the Lumion landscape or water. Some of the high quality materials available inside of Lumion can be seen here, however this is just a small selection. You can also see that these materials can all be further modified by selecting sliders. Adjusting these up and down will allow the user to control things such as the brightness, bump, reflectivity, saturation, scale and position. Imported materials and custom textures can also be controlled in the same way. Here you can see the JPEG file applied to this texture. Finally, objects can be selected inside of Lumion as a material and then made invisible. This effectively removes them from the scene, reducing the memory load. I've left the trunks of these trees in to use as markers. I will now use the Lumion library of over 2,700 high quality objects to add in things such as trees and people. All of the models inside the Lumion library are positioned with simple drag and drop tools. I can now select the tree trunk material and remove this from the scene by making it invisible. As I position the camera here, you should be able to see that each of the trees appears different. As you place objects inside of the Lumion library, each model is automatically scaled and rotated by plus and minus 10%, allowing you to place large forests or rows of trees without them looking identical. Lumion also contains a library of tree clusters. These can be placed around the outside of the model to create context or remove the horizon from the scene. Each time you import a model into Lumion, it is added to your own library. Here I will go to my Buildings section and select a city downloaded from the Google Warehouse. This can be used to create context inside of the scene. Again, using the Lumion library, I can now add additional content to the model. The outdoor library contains things such as street lights, signs, and outdoor furniture. These benches can be placed with simple drag and drop tools, and they can then be selected as a group and copy and pasted to the other side to save time. The Lumion library also contains an extensive collection of people models. These include fully animated 3D people which can move around and look around, but also the traditional 3D silhouette. Mm. 
All of the models inside of Lumion can be controlled with simple transition tools. These allow you to adjust the position, rotation, height and scale of all objects. Additionally, most objects within the Lumion library also have their own properties box. These can normally be used to change the color and or transparency or brightness of the object. I've now finished building context into the scene and I'm almost ready to render, but first we need to adjust the weather. The sun is controlled with a simple compass which changes the direction and the second one which changes the height allowing you to choose the time of day. Once you've positioned the sun, you can then also adjust the clouds by moving the slider up and down to increase or decrease the quantity of cloud. The scene is now ready to start rendering and this can be done by going to the photograph button on the right hand side of the screen. Once inside the photograph menu additional effects can be added such as weather, reflection controls, artistic effects and style. Here I'm using a reflection effect and adding this to the floor to create a polished marble. Additional effects can then be added such as turning on two-point perspective and also adjusting the focal length of the camera. Once you have finished setting up the image you can then choose the resolution to render at. In this case I'm using standard high definition resolution or 1080. An image of this size will normally take between 5 and 30 seconds to complete. This is the completed render. Lumion can also be used to create high quality videos. Simply go to the movie selection, click record and position the camera. Once a camera has been positioned, simply click the photograph button and this will create a keyframe. As you move to the next position and create the next keyframe, Lumion will automatically create a transition between each one of these keyframes, allowing for a small acceleration and deceleration to create a smooth effect. The movie can be immediately previewed to ensure that it is correct, and then additional effects can also be applied. Here I'm going to apply a sketch effect. As soon as the effect is applied, we can also preview the movie to see how it will appear, and then adjust the sliders to create the desired impact. Now the movie is ready, I can render it in the same way as an image. Simply click the render button, choose the type of render, in this case MP4, the frames per second, the quality, and then the resolution. We can now view the final product. For more information about Lumion or to arrange for a free trial or quotation, please contact us at sales at cadpoint.co.uk or call us on 01344 751 300. Thank you for watching.